Okay, so I showed you how at the end of the abdominal aorta and the inferior vena cava, you're gonna have both of them branch at the L4, roughly L4 level. And when they do, it becomes common iliac. And then common iliac basically runs along the, um, the ilium, the bone, right? Hopefully you guys remember those bones. And it branches. When it branches and goes inside, it becomes the internal iliac. And then when it continues towards the outside of the body, it becomes external iliac. So what we want to do is just kind of take some bones here to help us understand what's happening is basically you're going to have like, uh, so this is like L5 level. So I'm going to do, this is going to be internal iliac right here. We're going to have external iliac going like that and common iliac coming up like that. Yeah, like that. Where is abdominal aorta? Abdominal aorta is even higher up, basically. Okay. And I'm just going to draw a nice little ligament right here. We've got all of our other ligaments in place. So here we see this is our sacrospinous ligament right there. We see our sacrotuberous ligament, which is right there. So again, sacrotuberous ligament is right there. And you see how the sacrospinous ligament is back behind it, creating our greater sciatic notch and our lesser sciatic notch. And then don't forget, you can actually draw the piriformis muscle. It's gonna span that area right there. So the piriformis muscle is gonna basically kind of span this area right about there. Okay. So here we have the inguinal ligament. Let me just make this a whole actual ligament. So that's our inguinal ligament right there. Let's see our greater sciatic notch, our lesser sciatic notch, our piriformis. Right. And here's our piriformis. Okay, just like that. So what we're going to see is here is going to be our common iliac that came off of our abdominal aorta. Just like that. We see external iliac that's gonna run along like the ilium essentially towards the pubis. And as soon as it goes, whoops, as soon as it goes through the inguinal ligament right here, whoop, wrong color. As soon as it goes through the inguinal ligament, it becomes femoral. That becomes our femoral artery, okay? So again, boundaries are important. The inguinal ligament is the boundary between the external iliac and femoral. This is actually really important for visualizing on a practical. And then we're gonna have internal iliac and basically internal iliac just keeps kind of diving down in this, in this direction here. We're gonna see that there's one branch I want you guys to know and that one branch is gonna go towards the obturator foramen. And when it goes through the obturator foramen, actually, excuse me, let me erase this. It's a little higher up. It goes through the opening in the obturator foramen right there that's the obturator. Artery. You'll see coming off the back side here, we're gonna have one artery that goes through the suprapiriformis portion, one that goes through the infrapiriformis portion, and then another one that goes through the infrapiriformis portion. And when it does, it actually is gonna come back in and go this direction underneath. So looking at it from the back view, what we're going to see is one blood vessel comes up through the suprapiriformis portion, 
One blood vessel comes through the infrapiriformis portion, and then there's another one that actually goes back in that direction. It goes underneath the infrapiriformis portion and then through the lesser sciatic, through the lesser sciatic notch, right? Just like that. Ah, that, that picture was nice. That picture made my life easier, okay? So this is superior gluteal. This is inferior gluteal. And this is internal pudendal. So again, superior gluteal, inferior gluteal, and then this is internal pudendal, right like that. You can see these on the models in class too. You can clearly see them. If you're not quite sure where the obturator uh, artery is, just remember it has to run parallel to where the obturator nerve is. And I should actually redo this because the obturator nerve on that model is higher, meaning the obturator nerve is like that. And then the obturator artery is under, underneath it. Because there is on the model, there is another one that goes like this. I don't know what that one is. I have I would have to double check. Yeah, you guys don't need to worry about that one. You just need to know obturator, superior gluteal, inferior gluteal, and internal pudendal, okay, in the pelvis. So when we continue on, I guess I should tell you, yes, there's there's a vein that that goes with each one of these, right? There's a there's a vein as well. This basically running parallel to all of these. And then that goes into inferior vena cava. Okay. So this, all that has has a parallel vein. So when we look at this, we see we're gonna have abdominal aorta. And then right about here's where L4 is gonna be. So we're gonna see common, common iliac about right like that, internal iliac. And then it would be helpful if you draw where your inguinal ligament is. So inguinal ligament is right about there. So we're gonna see that our external iliac is gonna be like that. And then we're gonna see that external iliac, when it goes through the inguinal ligament, becomes femoral. Okay, so femoral is basically gonna continue just like this. You're gonna have circumflex femoral that goes around the head of the femur. We have deep femoral that wraps around the femur also. And then it, it's gonna start to dive backwards. So what happens is right about here, femoral becomes popliteal. And it goes through the intercondylar fossa right there and continues on. And when it continues on, it's gonna run posterior. As it runs posterior along the tibia, it becomes posterior tibial. And then it's gonna branch and come over towards fibular and it branches and it goes forward too. So when it branches and comes forward, it actually comes out right here, and this is anterior tibial, like that. Basically, this is going to be in the back, right back there. Okay, so let me let me label some of these for you. So this is common iliac. Again, we have internal iliac. Sorry if you can't read that. And eh, what was I going to do? I was going to make my internal iliac a little bit higher. It should be maybe right here-ish. Yeah. Remember, it's going to have a little branch that comes out there. Just internal iliac. This is external iliac. And then we have femoral. Okay, here's my circumflex femoral. And then this is my deep femoral. So what you should see is how blood's flowing down. 
right? So blood's going to flow down. And so from femoral, we branch into circumflex femoral, into deep femoral, into popliteal. So back here is going to be popliteal. You know popliteal because you, what you'll see is it's actually going to come superficial out of the muscle because there's no muscle in the back of the knee. Okay. And then we can see that popliteal actually has three branches. So from popliteal, we're going to see that this branch is anterior tibial. So anterior tibial. And then if it continues, this becomes posterior tibial. And this is fibular. Okay. So the vein pattern is all going to be the same. So veins run superficial and they run deep. So all the deep veins have basically a corresponding parallel have a corresponding artery, okay? So all that is gonna have a corresponding. So we have a corresponding popliteal, posterior tibial, fibular, anterior tibial, all that basically 100% runs parallel, okay? The superficial vein that you need to know is gonna run on the medial aspect of the leg so when it runs on this medial aspect of the leg, what it does is it drains right here into femoral. So thinking about everything going backwards, you need to think about how fibular, posterior tibial, anterior tibial all drain into popliteal. Popliteal plus deep femoral, circumflex femoral, and this one, which is great, say, great saphenous. all drain into femoral and then femoral drains into external iliac external and internal iliac drain into common iliac which drain into inferior vena cava okay you want to think about that pattern like where is how is blood flowing is it flowing down or is it flowing back up again remember veins are going to flow back up whereas uh arteries are going to flow downward Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this semester, you guys got off real easy. I should post some of my videos from uh, from last semester. It was much, much, much more complicated. Okay. All right, last ones are going to be thorax, arm, and head and neck.